thing about going in at night is, for me, it's very much cranking things up another notch, or actually several notches. It's much easier to be disoriented, no real points of reference. I need to set my fears aside if I'm going to solve this mystery. The water is full of plankton, which I'm hoping will summon a sea serpent up from the murky depths. I wait again for it to appear, this time in the eerie, silent darkness. There it is, there it is. It's here. incredible. I think more people have seen the Earth from space than have seen one of these this close. Such an outlandish looking thing. I might even touch it. I actually touched it. Oh. Even so close, it's hard to judge its length, but I estimate it's about two and a half times my height. Very, very fast and maneuverable. It doesn't flex the body, it's just a fin undulating like a wave. Oarfish don't have swim bladders, so they can move very rapidly up and down the water column. Seem to be definitely using the chain as a point of reference. Can he follow this up? Look at this. One minute it wasn't there, and then suddenly it's right next to me. I can scarcely believe this. this it almost came out of another dimension. I feel so privileged to be in the presence of one of the most elusive creatures on the planet. And just as I think it can't get any better. There's two. There's two. They're incredible. Why do they do this? Why are they here? Are they feeding? Are they breeding? Well, this is going to be on film, hopefully. If it wasn't, I think I would doubt the accuracy of my senses. Did I really see what I just saw? 